Oh, this is awesome looking. Holy crud. What's up guys, it's King Daddy DMAC and welcome, welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. That's right, here on the Poopin' Evolved modded Scorched Earth server, baby. Man, oh man, so much crazy stuff going on, going on today. First of all, how you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty amazing, as always, actually even better than normal. Yes because I've been working so much, so much at expanding the base. You, you might be seeing it already. What do you see? <gasps> the floor, the floor. Look at how much floor we have. I can't wait to reveal it all. But guys, guys, ladies and gentlemen, please remember to show your awesome support for the series as you always do for the awesome arc episodes. And man, oh man, we have updates again today, ACA. I love this mod. I absolutely love it. It's the best, don't you think? Lady, are you Lady Fox? No, you're Star Fox. You're Star Fox. Anyway, look at this. Look at how much metal this took. This took me all day yesterday to get all the metal and cementing paste and materials. But yeah, we are gonna have a massive base. Absolutely massive. I wanna make a nice dino storage area and get everything uncramped. It's been so crazy cramped up lately. So progress being made. Hopefully come next episode, we'll be able to see even more going on. It's pretty cool, but you know how I hate to build on camera. I hate it. So there's a couple of other fun things we can do today. Mm-hmm, having to do with taming, having to do with fighting stuff. I also wanted to point out, check it out. No more crazy aura particle effects around the creator wyvern. Isn't that awesome? I'm so glad that got fixed. That was so annoying. The mod author, he listens. He really does. That's the coolest thing ever when a mod author actually listens to the community at what, what things they say they like, don't like. It's just awesome. Thumbs up for the mod author, for ACA. You cheer, you cheer. Man, oh man. All right, so new things. As always, you gotta go in, unlock the new Ingrams, and there's these new things called, is it Nexus? Like that, yeah, look it. Nexus Bigfoot, Nexus Dire Bear, Gorilla, Mammoth, and Rhino. So I heard you can tame these guys. Now I think you might have to fight them or actually shoot them or something along those lines. But once you unlock the Ingrams, you can see they all show up in here in our little boss's summoner. So pretty neat. Um, they require 200 toxic blood and one chief soul. So that's not too bad. We can do that. We can definitely do that. Let's go ahead, grab out a chief soul. So why don't we try, we'll try one at first. There was a big commotion earlier on the server. I think Meteolox was, was doing this. And I think he assumes that it was just auto tamed. Yeah, and there is a big mishap at his base. Die, die, die. Um, what should we do first? I think I want to check out the dire bear. I really, really like me dire bears. You know they're one of my favorite creatures in Ark. So why don't we check this out? And hopefully it is tameable. But this is what I heard on the grapevine. So we have eight hours until it would go. And that's because we have uh, the preserving salts. We've got all of our torpor, everything shenanigans. We've got our alpha species axes, what I would assume you'd need. So I think we should be good. Um, is there anything else that we'd need? I, I think we're all good. I think we're all good. Let's head out to the desert. I'm not gonna spawn that in at my base, but man, I'm so excited for what our base is gonna turn out. Like, I think it's so cool. All right, just right over here. Now, other big things. We've been working on trying to make one of those cross server links where you can have you know just walk through kind of like a portal and get on to another map i'm getting pretty sick of scorched earth i'll be honest with you i've been doing so much scorched earth lately i love it but i mean i get sick of any map if i play on it too long so i'm really excited to see um being able to transfer over stuff to like the center map and maybe eventually the island map, but we have a center map all set up. So we may check that out today, I'm not sure, but we gotta figure who we're gonna bring with us and we're gonna be going back and forth. 
So it's not like this series is done. It's just like a continuation of this series. So we won't be starting from scratch. Let's see. Oh, are we ready? Let's get it so that our gun is already out. And oh man, I'm I'm kind of scared. Oh man, what's going on? Oh, what's going on? Does it get summoned right there? Oh man, or do you go to see it? I don't know what's gonna go on. Look at this, this is so weird. Art comes alive, that's awesome. That is so awesome. Oh man, this is ridiculous. So is, is it a portal that brings us somewhere or does it spawn in here? We're gonna find out pretty quickly what's up. Oh man, okay, it's right there. Look at that, it already has a saddle. It's doing pretty sizable amount of, holy crud. And it's crazy aggressive right away. That is awesome looking though. Look at it. Holy crap, all right. Uh, uh. And it's down. Of course, because we have the super trank darts. 336, interesting. Wild meaty lock rescued savage. Nice. All right, let's go grab this back out. Holy crud. What's going on? That's right, you kill him for me. You kill him for me. Oh, this is awesome looking. Holy crud. Holy crud. That is so epically cool. Holy cow. So I wonder, do they always come in at that like level or do you have to do it over and over again it's kind of remind me if it's over and over it kind of reminds me of that one um bionic mod i don't know we'll see i guess we should try and summon another one but this guy is epic looking does he shoot what the crud what the do you see that that is epic oh man all right what about this see all right goes what the what the crap what just happened? It just dupled. <gasps> what? What? Look at the level. Can I ride this one? Oh my god. It just doubled. It just split in two. What if I go like this? What the? This is amazing. Is there a timer for how long it lives? Are you like, I can just duplicate, duplicate, duplicate? I, I wonder if that's a bug or... Oh my god. This is nutballs. And we just got another one just by pressing C? What's going... I, I'm, I'm confused. I'm confused. What the heck is going on? Alright, so I don't know what the deal is with that. Whether it just literally duplicated or if it's just like a minion for the time being. Let's see, can I pick you up? It's definitely glitched into the world. So, we already got two. I don't think we need the third. Can I pick? These things are insane! All right, we gotta do more of this. That was super easy. And we gotta do more. We gotta get more. Oh man, we can pick them up. This is too cool, guys. This is way, just too insanely cool. All right, I'm gonna bring them I guess one at a time back to the base you unfollow oh I love it it is it's just like crazy looking crazy I tell you <laughs> all right cool let's go let's make a bunch of these I think that's epic all right guys got him back to base so crazy incredible cool man it just shoots like I don't know it's like an aura <laughs> when it does it swipe so cool and then when you press C does it still yep it duplicates it now when I went back to check on the other duplicated one it didn't seem to still be there I couldn't find it so I'm thinking that it might despawn I don't know if it's over time or just if you unload it or what but it is following the main res uh, resurrected savage so pretty cool Let's go check this out now. Can you unfollow me? All right. Let's get out of K mode. Let's check this out. Now we need to see, We I want to summon another to see if it's the same exact level. 
but as far as I haven't boosted it at all, not bad. 373, and again, for only a level 500 some odd Dire Bear. It does the same exact amount with the right click, so pretty cool. We might as well test the uh, the stats of the minion. It's got to be, whoa. What the? Whoa, and it can jump. <laughs> what? That's not balls. It jumps, a jumping dire bear. Wow, five, and again, can I, okay, I can't access the inventory of this one, so it tells me it, it is probably just the minion, but that is insanely powerful. Now, can this one summon another? Oh my God, this is ridiculous, guys. So that is super powerful. Now, other cool factors, I can throw on a saddle, bam. So it takes an alpha saddle, very cool. And this should help a lot, especially with a dire bear. Help a lot with its resistances, so very cool. We can also throw on one of the chief skins. Look at that, isn't that super cool? So that way you'd be able to tell them apart if you're if you're going off into battle, but very cool. I love this. I think this is one of the coolest things added in thus far, at least on Scorched Earth, because you can't get Dire Bears on Scorched Earth, so very cool. Anyway, let's go ahead, let's make up another Dire Bear, because if, if you can get higher level ones, we want to do that. And then maybe we'll try two more today, and then we'll do the other last two in another episode. I think that's cool. We don't want to shoot our, use up all of our stuff all at once. And I want to be able to go out with these guys too and mess around. So very cool. And just takes that normal chief soul. I love it. All right, here we go, here we go. All right, so we got three of them there. Let's go ahead, Um, as far as saddle-wise, let's see. I think the Dire Bear is the only other one that would have a saddle. Our best Dire Bear saddle is a 340. Amazing, we haven't even done the Dragon God stuff on it yet. So pretty cool, we'll see if those resurrected ones, the other minion ones are still there when we come back. I think that's cool. Let's go check it out. Let's see what these other guys have to offer. But that is nut balls. Absolute craziness. All right, guys. Why don't we start off with the dire bear again? And let's just see what happens if we're going to get the same level. And if it is the same level, I think I want to try and defeat it just, just to see what's up. How hard is it to beat? Or it comes alive. I really love the effect of how it spawns in. I think it adds a lot. It also gets you not to like, I don't know. I guess you could still spam them. We should try doing two at once. If that's a thing. Come on, be higher level. All right. And 644. So they don't all go in at the same level. <laughs> that is good to know. All right, so I would imagine we'd want to continue spamming it to try and get higher. I'm not sure what the max level is, but it's over 600. All right, and they're a pretty easy kill, and it gets, it's pretty much like doing an alpha. All right, cool. Good to know. Good to know. Let's clear this area out just a tad, because we're going to be doing some taming of the other guys. We don't want shenanigans going on while we're trying to tame. All right, we good? Few more things. Buy them, buy them. You too, you get out of here. And you. All right, I think we are fairly clear in this one vulture. Vulture. They don't have modded vultures yet, I don't think. No, you're just damaged. I was like, is that a zombie? Vulture. All right, I think we're good. Clear, clear. Let's go ahead, let's do it. Let's summon the next one. Should we go Bigfoot or Gorilla? Let's go Gorilla next. Let's see what's up with the Gorilla. All right. And you know what they, oh, there's a Vulture there. What they should do is they should have 
like a cooldown. I mean, if you wanted to make it harder, a cooldown where you couldn't tame it or do anything to it immediately. You'd have to like wait. Because otherwise, I'm thinking I can just chill right here and immediately go bam. Ooh, that hit pretty good. All right, unconscious. Bam. Nice. All right, so this one, interesting, does not, ha it's not named after anyone. All right, cool. Let's check you out. And what level were you? You're a 461, so our lowest level thus far. All right, cool. So it's like a Megapithecus. Oh, that is an awesome look, too. Very cool. It's got the rock throw, of course. Got the hit. The C. Oh, neato. And look at it. Summons one, two, three, four, five. What? That's an insane amount of little guys. That is crazy. All right, and then can we ride the little guys? And look at their level. They're so high. Okay, we can just name the minions. We can't actually ride the minions here. Wow. That is super cool. All right, let's go ahead and let's put all these guys onto passive. So we can summon the next one in. Oh, that is cool. And then we'll experiment with both of them as we go. Oh, oh, and you can unfollow me. Let's go a little bit out of the way over here. Oh, so dang cool. All right, next one, Bigfoot. Another thing you could do is make it so that you're like trapped inside there or something. Could be kind of neat. Oh, did we get the kibble back out? Good. It really didn't take that much kibble. All right, our comes alive. Let's do it, do it, do it. Oh, nice. And you're down. Ooh, <laughs> that was an awesome fall down. All right, how many does it take? Okay, it doesn't take very much. Except 587, not bad, not bad. We'll take that back. And nice. Oh, that is also awesome looking. These ones are probably the best skinned additions that I've seen like on day one. For this mod yet this is really cool all right the throw bam big old throw nice all right and ooh, ooh, and there we go there's the minions so the c move for all of them seems like it does the minions hey minions how is you <laughs> oh you're all so awesome <laughs> i love this this is this is just amazing Amazing. All right, let's go ahead. Let's throw you onto neutral. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, oh. Dang it. I hate when that happens. Have to carry around a grappling hook with you. And a reusable grappling hook would be a super sweet thing. I know there's a mod for that, but it would be quite convenient. And our comes alive. All right, passive. Good. Sweet, so let's go ahead, let's bring back the Megapithecus, and then we'll come back for the other guy. Sweet, and we can test these guys out a bit further, see what's up. Oh man, it's amazing. All right, so this is kind of interesting. Um, I'm coming back for the, I think this was the Bigfoot, and um, apparently the Wyvern can't pick it up. So kind of annoying. Why don't we have our wyvern follow us? And I guess I'll just run him home. Which is cool. We'll get to test him out a little bit. See what's going on. So it feels just like your normal uh, Gigantopithecus. Ooh, nice. We need to get this guy some food. Now, also notice it's just like the other ones. It, it doesn't seem to be able to harvest its own food. So just something to take note of but it does let's see how do you do for damage on something alive 
Oh, I have my thing off. All right, 28. So it's it. They're definitely. Wow. I think I just ran into that guy and it died. It's nothing too crazy insane. They're not all like of equal level. Let's see. Let's boost this guy's movement speed up a bit first. But it does, it definitely seems to wreck phase pretty well. I mean, not going to complain about that. Doesn't seem, oh no, it does harvest its own berries, so it can get its own food. That's cool. Thatch over wood, but it can get thatch and wood, which is a cool feature. Um, and it's way, it's got pretty insane weight. I mean, it's like an alpha variant. So 11,000 weight, not bad for a starting point, and half a million for the hells, but it's it's pretty massive. And it also has the jump. That is the coolest thing. I love you, Art Comes Alive, giving jump to everything. Something so, I feel like, needed, necessary in the game. All right, let's go ahead and boost its speed even more. Get it up to two, and then let's slam on that melee. Oh, it's feeling good. Feeling beautiful. Nice. Oh, it feels great. Is our wyvern still following us? Did we lose you, wyvern? I tell you these, okay, there we go, there we go. Wyverns can be pretty frustrating on Scorched Earth. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Man, it's so epic. I love it. Great addition. Wow, guys. I have to say, this is an absolute phenomenal addition to the game, I think. I'm loving this guy as just kind of... I don't know, a smaller mount. Like, I would totally go on this guy over most other small mounts. It's super cool once you get that speed up and having the jump on one of them, it's amazing. The only annoying thing is just if you kill something, you can't harvest the body, you get stuck, you gotta jump off your mount to fix it. I really think they should have made herbivores be able to at least destroy the bodies. But very cool. And then the best part, press C when you're in trouble, and you can just let your minions handle it all. Absolute awesomeness. All right, so we got you there. Come here, Wyvern. Oh, you pain in the butt. Pain in the butt. Let's see. Brainworms, you help me out. Oh, are you following the gorilla? Is that your problem? All right, come on up here. Come on down here. Uh-huh. Oh, where are you? All right, hit you. Oh, I wish they would make those guys land. Why are wyverns so annoying? But really sucks that you can't pick them up. So I'm assuming that's something that will be fixed with the uh, Gigantopithecus. All right, Megapithecus. Let's go. Let's see. So how is your attack? Bam! 11,000. Pretty wimpy, actually. Really wimpy indeed. 2,000. Wow. So again, it might just be that it isn't recognized by the, the dummy. Because remember how the, the other one was like that? Now this guy does harvest all the stone. He harvests wood. Harvests everything. So that's pretty cool. As far as stats, weight's a little low. Again, this guy in general is a little low. So you might even get up to doubled stats. But still, that's not... That's not insane, but I guess it's cool. It's not, it, it does make it more in line with a lot of the other guys. So, what should we pump? Let's go ahead, let's pump that melee up a good bit. Awesome. And I think, of course, of course, we will definitely be wanting to get a higher level one of these. So we'll have to respawn them in. I like that, how you don't just get the highest level and then you actually got to try it over and over. It's a little annoying if you're in a rush, but 
at the same time it adds a bit more more to the game makes it a little bit harder which is always cool all right cool so this guy is going to be an amazing gatherer and again if you get in trouble can you use that c and just have your minions take care of business for you definitely a cool factor and got the jump and now that's an actual decent size jump i really like that i think actually i think all these guys had jump at least the uh, mega pithecus but still very cool i dig it and the dire bear notice our little other dire bears our minions are still here cool let's go ahead and take off that skin just to not to confuse people on what this is all right doesn't harvest any wood or any berries for that matter either that's a good thing if you're using this guy as an attacker you do not want it to pick up all that other random stuff but something that makes it stand out from a normal dire bear again can press c to get the minion to handle business and we should be able to have insane weight in this guy which we do compared to the other two so that's very cool get that melee way up I would imagine on this guy you just be doing melee and then a bit of health but because we have the epic saddle which neither of the other two resurrected savages that we've done this far neither of them can wear a saddle so you, you really don't have to put the health nearly as high it's got a lot of protection on its own it's got the jump super epic I love it so this guy is definitely a pure attacker from what I can see. And did it, it did harvest the meat, right? Yes, definitely harvest the meat. Oh, I love it. Just how it should be. Awesome, guys. Is there any other moves? Axe doesn't seem to do anything. All right, I love this. This is absolutely epic, amazing, great addition to the game. One of the best that I've seen so far. I love these new guys love them i almost think they're too easy to obtain i shouldn't i shouldn't taunt the guy like that i think they're perfect they were done amazing i wouldn't change anything <laughs> oh i love it i just want to know why king daddy d mac isn't on him that that would be the only thing i'd change <laughs> man oh man we killed it today guys this was awesome one of my favorite updates yet i love these resurrected nexus savage bosses that you can tame it's so very cool we got to check out th i think what is it three out of the five we still have the rhino and the mammoth left i believe that's all that's left so pretty cool we'll check those out next episode but man i love this 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 is just so cool i hope you guys love it too let me know any tips or tricks about other stuff that i may not have realized about these guys or other abilities or things they do or what but man, just from the look of them, bravo, Art comes alive. Thumbs up, Art comes alive. Oh, I absolutely love it. So guys, next episode, we will spawn in the other ones. I, I shouldn't say spawn. We will summon in the other ones. Very cool, and check them out. And we also got to start thinking about who we're going to bring over because we're going to be making a base outpost on the new map not new season not new season it's going to be think of it as it's just connected to this world here and we're going to be going back and forth but there's a lot of new stuff there's a lot of stuff that we cannot get on scorched earth that we have to go over to the main island we're going to be doing it on the center map um so that we can bring it back here and again don't think that i'm stopping you can see i'm i've started so much work for the construction of this new base so i hope to bring all those guys back here so it should be pretty cool but let me know who we should bring over with us while we go over to tame and do stuff on the center map so i think that's cool let me know in the comments below anyway guys thank you so much for watching please remember to continue that awesome support for the series by leaving those thumbs up that's right smack that button if you're new to the channel do not forget to subscribe Mm-hmm. and until next time guys i'll see you tomorrow peace out.